Hello people of the internet and welcome to a walkthrough of a new apartment tracking spreadsheet in Google Sheets. So this template has three tabs, setup, dashboard and listings. We can start at setup inside this gray box, delete the example areas and instead write out the areas where you'd like to live. In this gray box, write out whatever it is that you want your bathroom to definitely have. Now, if you don't care about a bathroom, but you prefer a kitchen, then overwrite this with kitchen and whatever it is you want your kitchen to have. The dashboard shows you your most important stats. So the number of apartments tracked, visited, the number of rental contracts you received and how many you accepted, because once you accept a contract, you can, you know, stop the search. Now, the only things you want to be touching are, okay, not this, the moving date, yes. So let's pretend we're moving here. This will update automatically once you adjust the moving date, your net salary. You can also adjust and the maximum warm rent will adjust automatically. And we're assuming that this is one third of your net salary. Ratings will update automatically as you uh, track apartments. Here you can list a top five of favorite neighborhoods and five things you definitely want your apartment to have. Moving on to listings tab, I have some dummy data here. It's pretty straightforward. Write out the address, the neighborhood from the dropdown, the URL to the listing, any notes, how you like the apartment, whether you visited it, applied, if you got a contract offering and whether you accept it. And here's some space for cold rent, extra cost, heating costs, a deposit, and take care. When you delete the dummy data and uncheck the boxes, do not delete the blue ones, the blue columns also, because this is all calculated automatically. Then you fill out the room, the square meter or square foot, however you calculate space in your country. The moving date, type of heating, for me this would be important. Uh, yeah, and you just fill out everything that there is to fill out. A cool thing I came across is an add-on, which allows you to take all these addresses and show them or display them on a Google map. For this, we need an extension. So you go to extensions, add-ons, get add-on. The name of this extension is Mapping Sheets. There it is. You click, you install. I already did that, so I don't need to click anything here. After that, you go to Extensions again, Mapping Sheets, and start mapping. And make sure you're inside the Listings tab when you, when you are. Well, you can, this is just a Welcome message. Let me move this real quick. Then set title, filter and location all to address. Here you can choose which header to take. So we want everything to be address. Click build. Then we wait. Yes, we can only do the first 50 locations. That's no problem. And this is also not an issue. There's a problem geocoding because we only filled out eight addresses. So 42 are empty. That's okay. You can ignore it. So we already built. Now click view. A new tab will open with all your addresses. How cool is that? I thought that could be useful. So there you go. Happy apartment hunting and I hope you find something soon. Thanks for watching.